I'm probably gonna bait chain one. You know what? I'll stop once I get a really cool item. Opsy, what's the easiest item you can like make that's really cool? Like a silver armor. A wooden sword. Oh wait, no, guys, no, no torches, this. torches, torches, listen torches. To this. In 2003, right? This is the top 20 game listed by selling, right? Number one is Wii Fit. <laughs> guess what number two is? What? Pokemon Platinum. Then Fuck Mario yeah. Kart, and then we play, and then Godfather for the 360. Um, God, and then um. That's Wait, it. Is, it, is that 2003, game? right? Yeah. Top selling. Wait, oh, don't continue. I gotta see what what year Platinum came out. Release date, 2008, Japan. 2009 for America, so how's that gonna be the best selling game? Wait, Platinum? Hmm? It says right here! Oh! Oh, this is stupid! Hold on. What kind of game forms are you looking at? It's <laughs> game informers from the future, <laughs> obviously! It's 2003, honey! And then inside it's. It's a reverse time capsule, obviously, come on! <laughs> It's a god of all the 360, right? Oh, um, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. 2006, it came out. 2005, it came out. I probably should be digging down. So, um, um, you came full retarded. I knew this, I knew this stuff before you guys even knew about it. In the past. <laughs> so good. Still In 2003, he knew what would be the number one game to buy. <laughs> I, that's exactly why I brought Black. No, the best selling game for Xbox 360 is Black Ops, 12 million copies. Black that was Ops sucks though! I like it, because uh, no. I don't like it. The ranges are better, but you call it Pro Olympia. I, per I, 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 I personally think Black Ops sucks, but that's because I'm a, I'm a more casual gamer and I hate the hardcore like Call of Duty fans that fucking piss me off every time I talk to them. I, you talk to me, and I'm, I guess. Yeah, but you're not like one of the hardcore ones. Like one time I went on a Seenaners video and I fucking was like speaking of my opinions about Call of Duty and some guy was like calling me a retard and shit and like do you listen to yourself when you talk? You sound so retarded man. I mean seriously if you did that and that like you said then they would be making less money and, and more money for us and that's that's bad. I'm like Wait, dude. What's your opinion? Like I forget how it was. But I w but I was thinking that they should increase the longevity in Call of Duty games, like have more like map packs and weapons packs and stuff. Which train like if it's a PC game, like with all yeah. the Warcraft and yeah, then and then if, and then like come out with a second game if there was like only if there's like any major changes to the like, actual like they like I'm repeating Pinkle already, which is a podcast started by some Call of Duty commentators. Yeah, and uh, I think it was Woody's gamertag. Obviously, did you, li did you listen to Pinkle already? I'm talking about. But what he suggests is that, you know, with COD of War, we'll just do expansions, like the do with World of Warcraft, you know, which makes it feel like a new game. Yeah. Like, instead of World of War, what about... That's what I, that's what I War, said. War then War some II. guy was like, do you know how stupid that is? Because if you did that, then you'd only be paying the same amount of money for the da 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 And I'm like, dude, shut up. It's, it's my opinion. If you don't like it, fine. I don't care. But you don't have to be calling me a retard and an asshole for it. Also, with um, Battlefield um, Back Country 2 Vietnam, it felt like a new game, but it's only, guess what? 1200 max up points. You know what I think about this? You know what I think about this? I think we all need to shut up and read this game in four What? I don't know what I mean, that's completely understandable. If, I bet, like, C-Narris said that, he would be like, Oh my gosh, I totally agree with you, C-Narris. Can I suck your dick? Definitely. What? No, I'm not gonna take your dick. Shut up. <laughs> Why not? Dude. Why not? No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. What's the garbage can space in your inventory do? Doorway items. I, I think it. What? What else does it do? Damn, I'm not it, even gonna. It's, I'm it, gonna it, it's a crafting crap. table. It's the crafting table for you. You just drag your stuff in there. You get new items. Please don't do yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, like your gold and everything. Very mad if you do that. Where's my torches? Oh, there they are. Twixor. My name is gonna be Twixor. T W I X O R. 
So yeah, that uh, that's why I hate Call of Duty mainly the fans. Hey, hey, hey. What? No, you guys are cool. How many toys do you sell? Go make them less money for them, more money for us. As any as he types it, everything is a butcher. I get a three point one KD every game. With the full moss. Moss. Oh, them sixteen. If you're playing Call of Duty or MP40 in World of War. When I play Modern Warfare 2, all I do is quick scope through. I'm a and if you kill me, I'm gonna call you a little truck or nigger. I mean, uh, wait, are you cardian? Yeah, because Stuff? you're obviously not doing 360 no scopes across wait, the map. What? <laughs> you said we're recording this, right, Andrew? Yeah, I'm still recording this. Can, can you bleep out when I said the n-word? Why, nigger? Yeah. yeah. You nope. said it too, now you're gonna point it out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, look, listen, listen, guess, guess what is at the, the, um, the game. I'll say it's in use for parody, so no one can sue me. Dude, I found World at War in the... Magazine. And what year? <laughs> 2000. Are you sure it sells three? You sure it sounds like you got like. That's like the best got. game informer ever. You do realize? Yeah, it's just 2003. You got a whole bunch of games in here, and it's supposed to be set down for 2003. Killzone three. Okay, uh, it okay. came out 2008. Oh, awesome. awesome. I hate your game informers. A girl being awesome at Pokemon? I don't think so, Opsie. You're blowing it out of your ass now. Like in game contests? The ones no one cares about? Apparently, real ones. Oh, wow. No cats, yes. So, since we're gonna talk about Call of Duty in a bit, I wanna talk about the Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3. It'll make, it'll make your video interesting. Okay, fine, go ahead. So, obviously, what are your thoughts? What do you what? Which Modern Warfare 3 or Battlefield 3 and why? You really wanna know what my new game of the year is gonna be? It has to be those two choices. Um, which one's gonna be the game of the year? Oh, which one would you like play a lot? Neither. Wanna know why? You gonna sell your Xbox? No, neither. You wanna know why? Why? Borderlands 2 is coming out. Borderlands 2 is coming out? Fuck yeah. Yeah. What? Sorry, mom. I didn't know you're home. No. <laughs> Sorry. But uh. See, look, I'm not buying. I'm not buying them. I know Borderlands. I'm funding Battlefield 3, and that's probably get Monster Hunter for Christmas. I I just might not buy them just because now I know. Him. Now I know Borderfield Lands 2 is coming out, and I know Skyrim is coming out, and I'm gonna have an awesome time playing those games. And I'll probably get Call of Duty, other but Battlefield, just because my cousin like comes over and he really likes Call of Duty. Battlefield, get Battlefield. Um, I think it's 24 people on, on consoles, 64 on PC, which I think is awesome. Uh, okay, my choice, my choice, my choice. I'd personally have to go with uh. Found it! I found it! Oh, I found it! Battlefield 3, because it's more team based. Battlefield 3 maybe, um, I'll, yeah, pro I, I was thinking Battlefield 3 because, honestly, I really have a problem with the, uh, like, like I keep saying before, I have a problem with the, like, pseudo the fan, ba fan base, yeah. The over excessive ones. Yeah. And then plus like also the online play in, uh, Call of Duty is so, like, the learning clo curve, curve is so steep, man. You gotta be like both games. like that, huh? No, it's with both games. It is. In, in Call of Duty, you can play for like a good like hour, and you got the good answer. In Battlefield, there you gotta work from. So. That's probably why I won't buy it, cause I I wasn't having a good time. With Battlefield. I'm gonna play Fallout New Vegas right now. That's what I'm gonna do. You play that tomorrow. That's my speed run. Yeah, Let's record both. both. <laughs> yeah, you know that. Well, uh, I kind of found nothing on this little expedition of mine. My favorite game of all time? Mm-hmm. On the Xbox, uh, better question, better answer. Um, on the Xbox. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a tough one. This is I don't play like too many big Xbox titles and the ones I do I don't really play Sonic games. Yeah, I play mainly Sonic games. Um <sighs> Jesus fuck. Hey, can I as you're thinking, can I say mine? Sure, go ahead. The guy game. 
I never played it, but I was watching Screw Attack. And that was, that was a really funny looking game. Wait, what game? The guy game. The guy? Guy game. The guy game. Okay, like my Xbox. favorite, if we can choose Xbox Live Arcade as well, I'm... I don't know, um... I picked the impossible game, because I haven't beat it yet. Oh, the best game on Xbox Live Arcade is... No, Luca, no. Luka, no. no, Luca, no! Just search up no, Luca, no. <laughs> he pushes the cat away! He goes, and the cat goes, man! It's just a picture of a cat! It looks like his phone will stop it's on like there. Five, that's five frames per second. Five frames of animation. <laughs> that game is like the hardest game ever! <laughs> I still can't beat that game. I actually bought it. Holy crap! I feel I see a light. Okay, at the end, of, for the end of this video, I'll reach that light. Uh, my favorite Xbox game would have to be. Why is our Carly in gaming form? Like Carly? Mm -hmm. Is it 2003? But I don't think iCarly was out during 2003. Best game informer ever. Oh yeah, that's true. Come back, people. Okay. Um. See, look, this is what I never liked about games. iCarly came out 2007. Look, here's the things I didn't like about um, like video games, like shooters, because they would all you always give you something that gave you a huge advantage, like a mod, like. If you pre-ordered it, you gotta get it, like, whatchamacallit, you have to vanish over the game or something. I forgot what game it was, but they gave you, like, a shotgun that nobody else had. I think it was home. <gasps> Sonic Dark Brotherhood. What a terrible game. That game was fun for the first few minutes. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Castlevania, Order of Ecclesia. Not even, I, not even I, a major Sonic fan, can uh, support that game. Sonic Colors voice actor suck. Just throwing it out there. Yeah, if you're going to find the Sonic Colors, you're an idiot. Dude, my favorite Sonic game. I like Sonic Colors, fuck you. I love it too, that's, but I don't like the voice actors. That's a voice, if you're doing a, doing a blind run. I'll tell you what I mean after a dark run. Oh, you, know, you know what a good okay. game is? Look, you know what my favorite Sonic game is? I have two. And I have three. Yeah, okay, I have three. No, I have four. Okay, can I just name my top, but I'm naming my top five Sonic games, okay? Fine. No, at number five. Sonic Shuffle. I'm gonna go there. <laughs> I had to dream. Sonic Shuffle isn't a bad game. It's <laughs> everyone immediately hates it because it's a Mario Party clone. <laughs> Dude, this thing was awesome. <laughs> my favorite one is, Mar is Sonic 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> oh, my second favorite one is Sonic DX, the GameCube. Not, oh, I love that one. Mine is Sonic for the Sonic? PS3, the really bad, the one that everyone hates. Sonic for the PS3? Yeah. You, so you mean Sonic 06? Yeah. Oh. The one that everyone hates. Which one's that one? Look, you wanna I actually like, like that game's multiplayer. It's the only decent. It's the only Sonic game with a decent multiplayer that came out recently. What about Sonic Mario Party or Sonic, Sonic Party? Sonic yeah, that, uh, it came out recently. That was for the Dreamcast. Dreamcast was awesome. <laughs> okay, wait. My, my next one. Oh, is Sonic it's still an MMO feature for the Dreamcast that people still play. What? Okay, look. This is an MMO wait. for the Dreamcast that people still play. Okay, um. guys, guys, wait here, here. Hold on one second. Yeah. Are you guys ready for my second one? Here's my number two. Okay. Sonic Heroes. Sonic Heroes wasn't bad. Okay, and here's gonna my last one. I know you're gonna agree with me for this for number one, okay? Hear me out here. Can you guess what it is? Holy shit, big cave. Wait, what? Can you guess what it is, Andrew? Sonic Unleashed. No, no. Think about it. Think about it carefully. <laughs> Sonic Adventure 2 Battle! Thank you! Oh yeah, that one. I didn't like that one as much as Adventure 1. Why not? They had Shadow! Shadow's just an emo prick. Okay, my it. top my top five games. Okay, I'm get I'm gonna do this. Um my top five games would be number five probably Sonic Adventure DX. Um number four, Digimon World Dawn and Dusk. I thought we number talking about Sonic games. Nah, I'm just doing my general top five. Oh, then why didn't you tell me that? Because, um, number, number three would be, um, Pokemon, I'd, I'd see there, it's a tie between Platinum and Heart Gold. Um, Platinum every time. Number two would be, uh, oh, Kingdom Hearts 2. 
Fuck I yeah. Really care for Kingdom Hearts I know a lot of people who hate Kingdom Hearts, but it's a really good franchise. It's like, fuck yeah. Um, and my number one game is Pokemon Fire Red. Now, thank you everybody for watching this. Kirby Canvas Curse will be back up soon. And I'm sorry that you had to put up with a half hour of me just rambling on about... Me and my friends rambling on about shit. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, this is Project Sawzard. Uh, Straw Hat Corner, and because Asian... Oh, no, Ryuki survived, sorry. Signing out. Peace.